Hi guys, I'm Holly Golightly with Perfumed Vegas. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review for you from Diptyque's newest fragrance, Eau Capitale. This is the solid form. It was a limited edition item. The Eau Capitale Eau de Parfum is, I believe, uh, permanent to their collection. So first of all, before I want to get into it, I want to show you, of course, the beautiful attention that's been paid to the details of the packaging. Everything was designed designed in an Art Nouveau sort of Parisian style. So you will see these kind of bold colors throughout the packaging and on the product itself. Um, Eau Capital in the solid form retails for about 65 US dollars. It is 3.6 grams or 0.13 fluid ounces, but as a solid perfume you use quite a bit less than you need to. It comes with this beautiful little carrying pouch. Again, we have the avant-garde rose as well as the avant-garde peacock there on the packaging. And on the perfume container, I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for is, we also have the beautiful peacock surrounding the rose. Now this scent in its solid form was limited edition. If I can find it anywhere available still, I will link it down below, but it was really hard for me to get my hands on it because it sold out really quickly all over the internet. Um, I'll try though. The texture of Diptyque solid fragrances is really, really nice. Probably one of the best solid fragrances that I've ever tried. I have owned several from them. The consistency is soft, but not too soft where your finger like <laughs> makes a dent. And it's not too like heavy and waxy where you don't feel like you're getting the scent molecules onto your skin. It's really just a nice formula that transfers easily onto the skin and leaves a beautiful, soft fragrance. Um, the fragrance itself, I would say, lasts just a couple of hours, and that is, of course, expected with a solid form perfume. Uh, the silage is not fantastic. It is a scent that invites you to come closer to smell. If you were interested in layering it up with the Eau de Parfum version, you of course would get a longer lasting and stronger fragrance. That is up to you and up to personal preference. The Eau de Parfum version of Eau Capital does appear to be a permanent addition to Diptyque's fragrance line. So even if you're interested in the scent but can't get the uh, solid version, you can try the Eau de Parfum, which I have seen online anywhere from 180 to 200 US dollars. So just kind of shop around for that. Of course, anytime that you want to take your Diptyque Solid Perfumes on the go, the handy little pouch that it comes with, you just pop it right in, and that way you're protecting that beautiful laminate on the front. Otherwise, it makes a great vanity accessory, and it's really nice for a bedtime perfume. If you want to just dab a little bit behind your ears, on your wrists, something to help you feel warm and sexy as you're going to sleep. Now, Eau Capital is described as Diptyque's first true shaper fragrance. It has a top note of roses and the heart has bergamot and red berries with the dry down of that beautiful patchouli. And it is really a beautiful, um, innovative take on the Shaper formula, and it comes across as something, although it's not the most unique scent, it comes across as something different, something that you're not going to have um, in your collection that you're not going to be able to immediately dupe with something else in your collection. The idea behind it was to embody the essence of Paris, and although I don't know that that's 
necessarily what was achieved here. I do think that they embodied the essence of the ideal of Paris, the idea of the beauty, the sensuality, and the undertone of like richness and almost almost like the deeper undertones there. It's said to exhibit a sense of defiance and freedom while wearing it. I can't say that that's true either. Those claims, you know, those marketing claims don't necessarily translate into the real world, but what I can tell you is that it is a beautiful fragrance. It's a beautiful rose fragrance. It's a beautiful modern sheeper fragrance. And if you are interested in picking it up, I will try to link any sites I find that are still selling the solid format below. Otherwise, you can get the Eau de Parfum off of Deep Peak's website. The, form the formula was created by my good friend, Olivier Pichu. Sorry about that. By, by Olivier Pichu. And the artwork that was done was by an artist, a French artist and illustrator, Pierre Marie. So this was really a homage to all things Paris, all things um, that were loved by the creative director of Diptyque, and to really invoke the sense of traveling to Paris when one wears it. For the price point, which is $65 for the 0.13 mil, I do think that it is worth it. It's a beautiful scent, and you should not be going through a solid fragrance that quickly. You should be um, taking your time, enjoying it, allowing it to do its work by drawing people in to your atmosphere, drawing them into your circle to smell you, to wonder. It has an air of mystery. It has a beautiful air of femininity. I would not consider this unisex at all. It does feel very feminine on me or, you know, to my nose, even though super fragrances do tend to be somewhat uh, unisex. The Eau Capital in the solid format does not feel that way at all. So that is, I think, all I have to say. I'm going to try to get my hands on the Eau Capital Eau de Parfum as well so that I can compare and contrast and also get a better idea of the longevity and sillage. And I hope that you will continue to come back to this channel, stick around for that video. You will see this again in a haul video that I am going to be having upcoming. However, I will make sure that I don't go into too much detail and just refer you back to this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you go check out Au Capital by Diptyque for yourself. And until I see you again, thank you so much for visiting and I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.